everybody. Welcome to day two of our September five day fast. It's a really beautiful day out here in Los Angeles. It finally is not nearly as hot as it has been. So I'm enjoying it. Um, I wanted to say that yesterday after I filmed, I had the roughest day one that I have ever 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 had in all of the fasts that I have ever completed so uh, why was it rough well I think it was rough because I did my workout <laughs> I know I'm like well the research is conflicting and it is conflicting but I also said it research only has to do with percentages anyway and you need to figure out what kind of works for you. It's a, it's really important to know the research though, I think. I, I don't want to say that and for people to say, see, research doesn't matter. Everybody's individual. Like there are some axiomatic things that generally work for pretty much almost everybody. But um, yeah, I worked out and I think one of the problems is that I worked out really hard. I've never, I've never done that on a fast before. I've never worked out so, so hard. Um, I have gone, I think the last fast I did, if I'm remembering right, I think the last fast I did, I went to the gym, I think every day, but I did minimal weights. I just barely was pushing weights around, just enough to keep my muscles moving, and that was it. I was not pushing it, and I felt like that led to much greater recovery after the fast. I was able to get back to my regular amount of weights more quickly. Now everybody is different, so uh, I already know there's some of you out there where you can go ahead and you can lift your normal weights during a fast. You know, that's awesome for you. <laughs> that's great. I'm super happy for you, and I wish that was me, but that's not me, and so I will not ever be doing that again. I think that if I go back to the gym and just, again, just barely push some weights around just a little bit just to keep my muscles active, but not trying to... Uh, get any sort of um, uh, hypertrophy going on. I don't need to be tearing my muscles. So after weights yesterday, I really, really uh, just bonked big time. I, I had these intentions of doing a bunch of work and felt really good after my workout. I felt great after my workout immediately afterwards. It was about an hour afterwards that I was completely useless, like a limp noodle. I slept and slept and it just, I, I had such a hard time yesterday after that happened. So, um, again, that's anecdotal. I, I can't really make a recommendation for you based on that, but if you were my friend, I'd say, oh, don't do that because I did it. <laughs> and it was awful. Um, Day two so far is going much better, and I, I will also say though, to be fair, I didn't start drinking my broth with the electrolytes until after uh, the weights, so maybe doing it beforehand would have worked out better, but I don't care to experiment with that. I That had such an impact on me yesterday that I don't want to try again. What else? Yes, yeah, so I made a fresh batch of broth today. I am feeling much better today than I was yesterday. I'm going to enjoy some sun. And uh, yeah, now that that horribleness is over with, I think that the rest of this fast will be fairly easy. I just tend to get pretty weak during a fast. That's me. A lot of people are not like that. Um, a lot of people don't. They feel really, really energized. But I will say, even if they feel not weak in their energy level, generally speaking, people tend to report they feel weak physically. Uh, so that's why it's recommended at True North. Don't don't get up too quickly because you will run the risk of passing out. That's why they don't like you to walk uh, for long distances during a fast because there's a risk that you might pass out. No hot showers um, during a fast because you could pass out. That's, these are real legitimate concerns. Uh, I definitely do want to shower. I mean, look, look what's happening. What's happening here? I would like to shower, but I'm probably going to do a cold or a lukewarm shower while sitting so that uh, I minimize the risks. And I recommend that if you are going to shower during a fast, that's what you do, or you use a shower chair, which is 
also something that might help. All right, everyone, I hope you're doing well. Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up pretty, pe pretty please. I encourage, I encourage, oh my God, see, brain fog. I appreciate the encouragement, and I do appreciate the encouragement. It's not something I just say flippantly. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you manana. Okay, ciao.